Good afternoon, America and YouTube community. It's your boy Lex Anderson coming through again to talk about a disturbing trend that I am noticing in the Olympics. DeAndre Jordan and Carmelo Anthony all of a sudden are talking about how the experience of winning an Olympic gold medal is something that they would hold and treasure more so than winning an NBA championship. Okay, that is loser talk. That is the kind of talk that losers talk. If I was an owner who has to cut the checks for these over extravagantly paid millionaires, I would be infuriated. Honestly, what's Carmelo getting? $130 million? Right, it was a seven year contract, $130 million? Carmelo earns like what? Almost over $100,000 per game? Wakes up in a penthouse in a condo? Yet he cries about how New Yorkers don't know what he goes through when he puts on his uniform. And what is Carmelo's uniform? It is, a, is it a military uniform? Is it a police officer uniform? Is it a firefighter, mailman? No, it's a New York Knicks uniform. Shorts, a tank top, some cushy socks, and some nice brand Jordan shoes. Oh yeah, and he's married to Lala. So sorry, Carmelo Anthony, if I'm not crying for you because New Yorkers don't appreciate you for your inability to even earn a playoff berth with that paycheck that the Knicks cut you. And granted, the Knicks are a crappy team, but that's neither here nor there. DeAndre Jordan on the west side with the Clippers, led by CP3, who's played the most playoff games without even reaching a conference final. Those two players, we can all agree, hands down, they will never have a champagne shower. They'll never win a championship with the current teams they're on. They might win one later on down the line when they're like touching 40 and they hope to bandwagon with a successful team. Kind of like the way Ray Allen is doing, but we know he's not coming back. At the end of the day, the Olympics need to be given back to the college kids. But of course, there aren't even really college kids anymore because there are so many one and dones, no one even goes to school anymore to compete an entire four full years and then go on to the NBA. So you have all these one and dones who would probably get trampled by the international team since the NBA game is so advanced right now. And it's kind of shocking, well actually it's not shocking that our NBA players are struggling in the Olympics, barely winning games. And that's because the referees abroad, they're not starstruck. The game is different internationally. You could tell by looking at the paint, the way it's, the paint is, you know, inside the paint. So the referees aren't gonna give you those home calls. You know, like the home calls that LeBron had got to force the game seven, thanks to the refs, putting Curry in foul trouble. You know, that kind of stuff that makes us as NBA fans question whether the league is rigged or not, which in my opinion, to an extent, it probably is. It definitely is. People want to talk about TV contract money being cut already and all this other blah blah stuff. Trust me, which is more marketable? Bring a championship to a team that's never had a championship in over 50 years or a team that bested the 72 and 10 but couldn't even defend their championship the proper way and lost the game seven in home. Tisk tisk tisk. But yet I digress. It's all about being a champion. And if you're getting over $20 million a year, right? Because the postseason is its own different paycheck. I would want a player willing to lay it on the line each and every night to ensure that my team not only makes the playoffs, but advances to the NBA final and eventually does bring home the hardware, the Larry O'Brien trophy. So yeah, DeAndre Jordan, yeah, Carmelo Anthony, enjoy your gold medals if you even get that far because right now the team's playing like crap and you have Durant with Klay Thompson, right? New teammates, you would think they'd be lighting it up, but they're just as incompetent. Oh, I can't wait for the NBA season to start. That's your boy Lex Anderson signing out. Thank you for viewing.